Welcome to Trek and Travel. My name is Cinnamon. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, on today's video, I'm going to go ahead and go over numbers. I'm um, comparing 2020 to 2021. At the end, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what we made for each year too. Um, and it's going to be a short video. I'm only just going to go over a couple of things, uh, numbers that we thought were very interesting though. Um, so for the truck gross for the year 2021, we uh, grossed $258,959.98. In 2020, we grossed $248,464.16. So we actually grossed more this year only by $10,495.82. Um, so uh, one of the factors though, the reason why we it was so close together is because um, another number I want to go over is how many days we were home. So for this year, a lot of things happened. We were actually home for 175 days, which is 48% of the year. <laughs> so we were actually on the road for only 190 days or 190 days days, which is 52% of the year. Um, and there's going to, there was a lot of factors that kind of went into it this year. Um, we had maintenance, which everybody's going to have, uh, so downtime because of maintenance, but I had LASIK surgery this year. So I had to, you know, the surgery recovering and then I hurt my back. Um, so I was, I was home a lot for that. Um, getting over a back injury, I, I ended up getting an MRI and everything and had three bulging discs, um, like in three different places and stuff. And then after I recovered, Derek fell off a ladder. <laughs> and so we had some downtime for that too. Um, and then, uh, you know, we were home for most weekends. We got stuck because of weather, you know, just a bunch of different factors and stuff, but it's pretty crazy, you know, that we, we made that much and, uh, we made more than we grossed more to the truck than, uh, last year, um, or the year before, sorry, 2020. Um, so another figure I wanted to go over is how many loads that we did. Now I thought this was very, very interesting. Um, so for 2021, we did 110 loads total for 2020, we did 133 loads. So that means that we did 23 more loads, but we grossed 10,500 around 500 less to the truck. Um, which is crazy. So, um, and I looked at it fleet bonuses too. And we have a fleet bonus and a carrier bonus that, you know, is available for us to have, uh, for 2021, uh, we did six fleet bonuses, got it six times and three of the carrier bonuses for 2020. We got eight of the fleet bonuses and six of the, um, carrier bonuses. So that's, uh, that's nine, you know, compared to 14. So actually, um, we made more, uh, our share, we made more in 2020. And that's because we had six more, wait, no, four or five, five different times more that we made the bonus. So even though, you know, the, the, the gross wasn't that far off or anything by any means. Um, so, <laughs> uh, for 2021, our take, and this is just for trucking. It's not for, um, any other income source that we have at all. Uh, so we made $105,236.36 for 2020. We did $106,350.98. So the difference between the two years is only $1,114. So that being said, we only made, uh, a hundred or $1,114 more in 2020 with 23 more loads and, uh, and five more, um, bonuses. So that says a lot. So, you know, about the rate and, and all that and how busy we were, how many days we stayed home. I guarantee you we, we were not home that many days. I didn't uh, add that up, but it was just astronomical this year because a lot of stuff went on. So, um, we thought that one more thing I just wanted to add to, cause I'm a numbers person. So, um, so with bonuses, even with fuel charge taken out, we still made 40.6% of what the truck, the truck grossed. Um, so I just thought that was really awesome, uh, because for our fleet, um, for the, the fleet, our fleet owner, whatever, uh, the fuel surcharge or the fuel, you know, surcharges, we take that out of the, what we get and then, or, um, the, the total that we're getting paid for the load and then we get 40%. So not even counting that, like it's, um, we still made 40.6% uh, of what the truck grossed. So I just thought that was amazing. Um, so thank you for letting us share this with you guys. <laughs> um, I, 
if, if you guys like it, make sure you guys give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and make sure you guys have the alerts on because we're, um, we're getting a little bit better about posting videos that uh, we're trying our best. Uh, so if there's anything specific that you guys want to, want to see, um, let us know in the comments. Let us know how you guys' year was. Was it better than 2020? Was this your first year? Did you guys have obstacles? Did you get stuck in any kind of weather? Um, just let us know. We, we love seeing how everybody else is doing out there. And we love reading the comments and everything. And we really appreciate it. So um, the cats are going crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear them or not. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to head out. Everybody have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining us. Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Derek and I wanted to show you something cool on Trucker Path. If you uh, get the extra subscriptions that they have, I think it's pretty awesome. First you go to Trucker Path and keep in mind if you don't have this feature yet, but if you still have Trucker Path, you can check it out. They limit to how many times you can check it out per day, but you can still check it out nonetheless. So you'll want to open up your app and then you'll want to click on services, click on load board at the top left. And it opens up and then you can select uh, your trailer type, flatbed, step deck, van, reefer, power only. Uh, we'll go ahead and do flatbed. I'm kind of curious myself. Uh, we got our pickup location as uh, Columbus, Ohio, and we got a deadhead setup of up to 200 miles. Why not? You never know. I mean, if it's paying good enough, I'll deadhead anywhere. So click on search for loads. And I, you can see at the top it says daily free load views. I already checked it out and now I only have two left. So we scroll down. Um, here's a load that I think would be good. I, I don't know anything about it, but just looking at this, Indianapolis to St. Louis, Missouri, uh, we'd have a dead end of 169 miles. And then the actual run miles is 242. And then you know, quick math, it's under 500 miles, 500, we'll pretend it's 500. So 500 miles times two for $2, that'd be a thousand dollars. And they're paying $1,800 for this load. So you know dang well that this is good. So I think St. Louis is a hot area. I don't know so much for flatbed anymore because I've been out of the game a little bit, but I would say it most likely is. And if not, I mean, they give you enough money here that you could deadhead back to a good area and park. Yeah, you can't beat that. This is for the, you know, owner operator that has their own trucking company. It's very ideal for them. There's many other things you can do with this, uh, the Trucker Path app. But all right, guys, be safe out there. We'll see you next time. Nothing can break me.